Hey everyone, this is Greg Benz with a quick overview of my favorite new features in the latest release of Lumenzia version 1.2. The first thing I want to call your attention to are tooltips, and that are these little pop-up information boxes that as you hover over a button in Lumenzia, it's going to tell you something about what that button does. And not only will it tell you what the button does, but it'll tell you things like what keyboard shortcuts you might want to use, or for example, uh, when I hover over Vibrance here, we'll see that it suggests working with vibrance in combination with a hue saturation layer to adjust the vibrance by color. So it helps you not only understand Lumenzia, but also some important concepts in luminosity masking. So whether you're new to Lumenzia or new to Lum uh, luminosity masking, uh, the tool tips are a great way to help understand the panel. And even if you are familiar with it, having easy reference to information about keyboard shortcuts uh, can also be a, a nice way to work with this. And that brings me to the second feature I want to call it here, which is this pre-blend feature you see at the top of the panel here. And basically what that's designed to do is combine multiple exposures for uh, manual exposure blending. So I have this image here from Kyoto, Japan, and we can see that I have three exposures. I've got uh, a couple of issues here. I notice as I move around that they are not properly aligned, so I must have bumped the tripod between shots. Uh, but basically, I don't have a single exposure where both the gates look good and the detail on this lamp. You can see in the dark exposure, I see a lot more information here than I do in the brighter exposure. So I want to bring these together in a single image. It's kind of the manual version of HDR. Um, basically, all we need to do is click on pre-blend and Lumenzia is going to get everything ready for us. So it's loading all these individual exposures into a new document for us. And that's going to ask, what do you want to do with the old uh, source images? Do you want to save the changes? Do you want to just keep them open? Or do you want to close without saving? And I'm going to just close without saving. And so now we're left with the combined image here, which Lumenzia has analyzed the brightness and sorted by brightest image to the bottom with light, uh, darkest image on top. Now, if you want to work in the opposite order, you can just hold Alt when you click on pre-blend and you'll get the opposite order, but it will automatically sort these, which is nice, especially when you have multiple layers. And then we'll add these black masks to the top layer, so you're ready to start masking on them. And uh, if we take a look at the detail here, we can see as I turn on these other layers that Lumenzi has also automatically aligned these layers for us. So we are completely ready to go. So with that, let's go ahead and put a mask on this middle exposure here. I want to get more detail on this lamp. Now, traditionally, I would load this up either as a selection and paint with white on my mask, or uh, I could load this as a mask and then use the, the group feature to essentially put a mask on the mask and isolate it to just this part of the image, but I don't want to be adjusting the background or some of these other areas here. I don't need to blend that in. Well, with the new version of Lumenzia, we've got my third favorite new feature, which is the ability to draw a selection directly on the luminosity mask preview, Lumenzia will use both. So it's going to use this overall preview and apply it just in this area. So when I hit remask, Lumenzia is going to load on here this combined mask. When we click on this, we can see it's the luminosity mask, but just in this area. It's been automatically feathered and isolated to this area. So we're bringing in detail this lamp without affecting some of these other areas that I wanted to leave alone. And we'll do it once more on this top layer. And again, I'm just going to use the same approach here and apply this to this next layer. And so with that, we've already made a dramatic improvement in the image. It may be a little bit hard to see on YouTube, so I'm going to zoom in here. But here was the original image. And we can see the lines on this lamp are just totally blown out. There's not a lot of detail. And with a couple of quick, simple steps to load the other layers and mask them in, we've brought in a tremendous amount of detail on this lamp. Looks much, much better. Now, of course, um, you may be wondering, well, what if I don't like the way that this feathering is done? What if I want a little more control? Well, you still have some control with Lumenzia. So let's say, for example, we want to further adjust this path so I'm going to use the zone picker tool here because I don't know exactly what tone I need to select and just hit OK. And now I've got a selection of the path, but of course I've got a lot of other things selected. So I can quickly draw a selection around the path here to isolate just to this path. Now, if I were to 
simply hit the curve, I would get a combination of the two. So it's going to create this version where it has my zone mask in this area. But of course, the feathering here is not exactly what I want. It's a, it's a big selection, so it's created a big feather. If I want to get more targeted, let's instead undo that. So we've got our selection and our mask here. And instead, I'm going to shift click on curve. And by holding the shift key when I click on it, it's keeping these as separate masks. And now I can go in here and I can adjust the feather as I like. And I can view it if I need to, uh, to view this. So let's say about 56 pixels looks pretty good. And when I'm ready, I can hit the ungroup function and that will combine them. And now I'm back to this path selection here, but with a tighter feather. So you still have complete control. But being able to combine selections with the luminosity mask previews, I find is a huge time saver. So those are my, uh, my three favorite new features in Lumenzia uh, 1.2. Uh, it's a free upgrade for all existing users and I uh, hope you check it out. Thanks.